Well, hello there and welcome to my Open TTD Live Let's Play it's Series 9 and we're off back to our first Let's Play. I hope you're all doing good. I can see there's quite a few people popping along already. So let's get cracking, shall we, and just get into the game. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon says, I was 50 seconds behind because of five ads. That's one of the reasons I do a two minute introduction. Uh, to have that little introduction just means that people can potentially catch up. Um, yeah, so many adverts on Twitch. It's, it's a little bit of a pain, I suppose, isn't it? But here we go. We are back. We are in our world here. We can, should we do a remind ourselves how things are going? So over here we started, no it wasn't over here, it was further down the line, here we go. Uh, looks like the station names have disappeared. There we go, they're back. Um, so we started over here at Krillo's Coke. Pulling coal down into this coke oven and sending it back again. Uh, well not back again, not back to the coal mines. We picked up the coke and we took it over here to... ALM's blasting. Now we've got ALM's furnace and Flumping Full Bridge, uh, where we're bringing the various different things in, which is working okay. This area over here got a little bit complicated with making sure we had enough trains in and getting them through on time and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we've got the passenger line, that's right. We've got the passenger line that we did last time. I was going to do some sort of really impressive kind of airport link. But then I realised I haven't really got anywhere to link that airport to. So we've got uh, Hedham Airport over here. And then we've got our airport at Haffingburg. But then what I was thinking was is maybe we can link like one of these places with an airport. Just so there's a bit of a transfer between them. Um, and Brad, Brad has, yeah, definitely got to name that line. Um... So hello everybody. Good ne good evening from everywhere. We've got the uh, we've got people in the Netherlands watching, people in the UK watching, probably people on the moon. What? No, hang on. There's no people on the moon, is there? Let's not start that. Um, so I think yeah, we ought to start off by naming this railway line. I mean, we didn't name it after a viewer plus subscriber, did we? I think we was going to. I'm not 100 percent sure. Let's let's name it now anyway. Let's find out which viewer plus subscriber. What about the man in the moon? Oh, there are people in space. That is true, Egg. Yes, there's people in space. Not people necessarily on the moon right now. Um, so for those of you who don't know, viewer plus is basically the way that we keep this channel running around here monetarily. Uh, it takes a certain amount of money for web hosting, for restreaming and all that sort of stuff. And... Um, the support of the viewers is what keeps it going. Viewer Plus is what keeps it going. And if you want to support the channel, Viewer Plus it can be less than £3.50 a month. I think that is a nice little amount. I'm able to keep the prices low because there's no middleman, like some other services. It's, I host the service directly, so there we go. Um, and the winner is uh, Beanie Nixon. Beanie Nixon, you have got chosen. And also a quick thank you to J Bayman for being our latest subscriber. I know that's a resub. Um, so if we go back in here and we're going to call this something to do with Beanie Nixon. We just we won't just call it Beanie Nixon. Um, maybe Nixon, the Nixon Nexus, or something like that. What do we think, folks? Uh, <laughs> Jack and Mackie, yeah. Yeah, it's just people watching Master Hellish on the ISS, so they've got nothing better to do, have they? <laughs> oh, that would be hilarious. Um, and Bob the Line says definitely no one on, on Mars unless they are over. Yes. Do you think space engineers... Do you think space engineers play KSP and train engineers play OpenTTD? Maybe. I don't know, actually. I'm, I'm sure there's some. And we're not counting lizard people. We're not. <laughs> No, Brandon doesn't like um, the Nexus, the um, Nixon Nexus or whatever it is. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll we'll 
we'll have to put a little tag down so I don't forget. Uh, let's see. Is that a sign? Do robots count? No, robots don't count. So, uh, that's not right for Nixon, is it? I can't remember how Beanie Nixon spelt it. I'm going to have to have a look at my website. If you go over to masterhellish.net, there is a list of my viewer plus subscribers on the home page. It's one of the benefits. Uh, I can see quite a few of them on there. Jack and Matt, you're on there. Bitrich, Nudger, Brandon, you're all on there. Um, DG Egg, you're there. Jimster Gaming, Volans on there as well. J Bay, of course. Uh, Network Seventeen, uh, Elaine's on there too. Uh, with Gecko, Super TNT, The Innocent Tomato. Um, where's Beanie Nixon gone? I can't find Beanie Nixon. Okay, I'm gonna have to start scanning from the front because I was just jumping around looking for the name jpb of course oh there it is oh i think i did it right i tell you what we'll just put beanie nixon there right then we'll come up with a clever game a clever name throughout the live stream there we go now speaking of live streams did you see what i did there uh this saturday this saturday i can't believe i've been saying oh over on this one over in december or later on in the month but it's now this Saturday we're going to be doing the, the festive charity live stream. I've got my Christmas hat ready. We've got laser lights and we've got all sorts of game giveaways. We've got Steam codes, all of that sort of stuff. Yeah, this Saturday it's going to be so good. And of course, we've got a massive game of open TTD as well. Uh, Nixon Inti City Express, the Knicks. I kind of like that, actually. I mean, it's not very intercity with these steam trains at the moment. Yeah. Um, Raphael uh, Raf says, Can you do a series uh, in the future with Furs Extreme Industry Set? Um, I, I think they got rid of it, didn't they? Let's just check. Um, set parameters. Let's have a look. Yeah, they got rid of Extreme. This is instead of Extreme. Um, in Furs 4, you've got Tempera, Arctic, Tropic, and then you've got Steel Town and In a Hot Country. Steel Town is kind of basically the new version of Extreme, but it's got a theme to it. It's not just like everything thrown in. Uh, I think we've done it. Yeah, it is in Furs 3. Um, we've done something like that in the past, so we probably won't go back and do the same thing again. Right, that's that name. Um, what are we going to do next? What are we do? Oh yes, the title of the live stream, tire production. So I want to do tire production this this live stream. So for that we need to work out what we need and how it's going to work. So we're going to go industry chains. This is going to be a little bit of planning to begin with. A little bit of planning. Well, hang on a minute. But before Saturday's event, we've got a few things to look forward to, and. Quite a few. You will probably be interested in this. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow lunch. I was supposed to do it, but never mind. Um, Transport Fever 2. Uh, new series starting. That'll be brilliant. Uh, then we've got the Gaming with the Viewer Plus subscribers on Wednesday. Thursday night, we've got the start of my new Minecraft series. Friday, we've got uh, episode 2 of my um, uh, Skyrim Let's Play. And then, of course, we've got the videos over the weekend, in addition to that fantastic live stream. Oof. Yeah, we did do a, a view. I, th I think it was a viewer plus game with loads of industries. So this is all the industry chains, I think, that we've got selected there. Let's go and change it to uh, tires. There we go. So tires are produced at a tire plant. But if we click the, click the tire plant, we can see what we need to be able to do that. We need rubber, uh, carbon black, sulfur, and steel wire rods. Now, out of them, what are we already producing? Well, if we come down here to ALM's furnace, or blast furnace, you can see we're already producing P2 
pig iron, cast iron, and slag. None of which are the things that we need. Oh dear. Right, okay. Let's let's have a look at it. So if we look for first four, industry replacement set, go and click on the economies, then click on Steel Town. That doesn't look right. That's an alpha website or something. I don't think I've got the right link. I've lost it. I've lost the good link. Economies. Steel Town. That's not right. I'm on the wrong website. Okay. Let's try putting open TTD in front of it. First instrument replacement set. Same the alphas here, but not actually getting anything. Oh, hang on. There, Brandon. I think Brandon. That's it. Thank you very much, Brandon. I was going to the alpha version. This is the actual version that's got released. So, tyre plants get rubber from a bulk terminal. Have we got bulk terminals already? What's this? That's a bulk terminal. Okay, that's interesting. Just happens to be a bulk terminal right there. Okay. Coke of... Ah! Right, so this is the blast furnace. But if we go down to the coke oven, this is where we are creating sulfur. And we need sulfur. Brilliant. Um, so the sulfur goes to the tyre plant. But also the coal tar goes to the tyre plant via a carbon black plant which converts it. And then the bulk terminal brings in the rubber and the bulk terminal takes in things that we haven't sorted yet. So... Let's just also check. I'm going to bring this on screen. I'm going to bring this on screen. Can I just make sure that I've got that up oh, and zoomed in? There we go. So there's the coke oven. We've got a coke oven. Uh, we've got coal mines going to a coke oven. We've also got coke going to a blast furnace. And all the blasty stuff's happening down here. I think we're going to have to spur off two different ways. We're going to have to have the blast in one way and the tarring the other way. So the other way, we get the coal tar, drop it at the carbon back black plant, and then take that to the tyre plant. And then we take the sulphur straight to the tyre plant. We may have to fund our own carbon black plant in order to get what we really, really want. Um... Steel wire rods are probably made in one of those steels. Unless you're just going to do one of each thing for the industry. I mean, I'm not exactly sure um, what we're going to do with that one. But we will figure it out. I'm going to keep that on my other screen. So we need to come from Krillo's Coke and take the coal tar and sulfur out. So I think... Yeah, because we're already doing the coke. Let's build a new station over here. And I, I don't know where it's going yet, but we're, we're going to build the station anyway. And we're going to do... Uh, let's see. I don't know what one to do, because... Like, litres of coal tar, that's got to be... I don't know what sulphur would look like. Would sulfur be a mineral? I don't know. We've got water pumping, good station, freight station. Maybe we should just put a freight station in to begin with. There is rubber loading and things like that. I think what we'll do is we'll do mineral silo to begin with. We'll have three tracks going. Three is not going to be enough, is it? Brand new station, six track from here. 
we're going to have six track of the mineral and then we'll use the oil facilities for the other one for a brand new station I have no idea if this, if this is right or not but we'll see so we're going to do a really nice little input here so we'll bring this one straight round actually I don't know where it's going we need to work out where it's going first okay so we need to take the sulfur to the tyre plant. So let's find tyre plants. Raw sulfur, is a, raw sulfur is a yellow powder. That sounds right. That does sound right. Uh, let's put that there. Put that there. Turn off the town names because that's pointless. Turn off all the industries and we want the actual tyre plant. Okay, so we are over here, oh, and there's two really close by tyre plants, and I don't want to take it to either of them. So, they're both on the inside of this, and they're also too close. Can you see them flashing there? I can't zoom anymore. The good news, he says, thinking, is there is a tyre plant over here. Yeah, we need to go for a distance, don't we? So, I don't know whether to come across and go to that tyre plant or build my own over here. Let's have a look at the topography. Yeah, if we go round this hill somehow past these towns we can get to this tyre plant there's the tyre plant there's the hill there's the station so we'd have to go round the hill mm, I think I might just build my oops steady now I might just build my own tyre plant Oh, here we go. Uh, yes, because if we just come straight up north here, we can then just do like a bit of a wiggle to come round this. Just put a tyre plant in over here. I'm not sure. Yeah, the graphics of the industries are really nice. I like them lots. Uh, although... The next thing we need to do is the tyres will go to an assembly plant. So that will be like the big... Like the assembly plant is the focus where everything's coming together. So we're going to have to be careful where we put that. And we've got loads of room on this map. I made an extra big map because of that. Hmm. What, what if we come over here to this big empty area there? Can we put fund new industry? Go all the way down to tyre plant. 2.6 million, that's alright. Yeah, assembly plant is like end game, it's like final tier. But tyre plant's only one back from that. So one of the things we need to do is get the tyre plant in, start supplying it with sulphur and rubber. But we also need the steel wire rods, and we're not going to be able to do them until we've got a wire and section mill and the blast furnace is providing pig iron to an oxygen furnace to make the carbon steel to go to that <laughs> yeah what size is the map 2k i'm not sure i think it might be a 4k it feels like it feels like it could be a 4k he says, losing where we are. We're over here. Um, right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna put the. We're gonna put it here. Uh, he says, just placing it in. Now, one of the things we're gonna have to do is stop part way to turn the coal tar into uh, into carbon black. So we'll do that after we've done everything else. So this is gonna be the drop off station for the sulfur and the car. No, mm. 
let's just do the dropper station for the sulfur. Also, should we? How long should we make these trains? Because at the moment, I've I've got six length. I feel like these should be tens. Like um. Like these trains over here. Although these trains, they did need two engines to make it work well. So I don't know what you guys think of that. Hey Nudger, welcome to the stream. Twelves? I'm not doing twelves, Brandon. Not for, not for, like, primary. Well, yeah, I think twelves too far. What do we think for? I, I what? I want to build the railway line, but I can't. Well, I suppose I could build the railway line through the middle. Let's build it through the middle. So we're going to try and keep at not the lowest height, I don't think. But maybe we'll go up one. Like this height. So if we come via this section here. That way we don't change much of the uh, of the sea. And we get a good section of track in there. That's okay. And then we could come down here, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna keep gonna keep it up again. So following that along. There we go. Don't overstate the amount of car tar that comes out. Hmm. Yeah, that's another thing as well. Like over here, we've got quite a lot of trains going round and round and round, shifting loads of coke. But we've got a relatively well, very small amounts of coal tar and sulfur at the moment. Also, we want to get more coal mines on that. Uh, how can I easily do this? If I just go straight diagonal. Yeah. There we go. So we're cutting through a little bit of hill there. We're building up a little bit of hill there. And then we'll just peel that back there. Make it a little bit better. Uh, let's just ooh, make that a little bit neater. There we go. No, it isn't a lot, but what you've got to remember is, is that the production, I don't think, is that high at the minute. So I think the production might go up a lot. So... You don't think additional adding additional coal mines has any reward in furs? I think the amount of that you're depositing directly affects the output. I'm, but I'm not sure actually. Interesting that I never thought about that. Um, but we've got this bit of track done, and I think we won't have to do much land changing to keep it going across here. Uh, we will have to just get rid of... Is it those two bits of river? Yeah. And then we'll come down and enter into whatever station we decide to do, which should be something soon. You need to supply at least one thing first. Yeah. True, but the wagons also transport a lot more resources. So are we, do you, are we saying we stick with six? Let's have a look. Let's see what it says again. I can't remember. So it says there's, there's actually nothing for a coke oven. It doesn't give me any extra production things. Unlike like this coal mine here says like if you give air generic supplies it will get more production. I think the production is based off what you're delivering and picking up. Bonuses come from supplying multiple commodities. Yeah, but here there's only one commodity and it's supplied. So, I don't know. 
The coal tar you should check. Okay. Let's see how much fits in a wagon, shall we? So if we go and have a look at the available trains. And we set up for coal tar. The oil tanker fits 30,000 litres of coal... Of, of acid or something, something... Oh, it's refittable. 30,000 litres. Um, and 30,000 litres, like, you're talking roughly seven or eight trucks will do that for a month. But I expect that to skyrocket, though. That's the thing. Okay. Chat seems to be looking at the lower number of trains. Two trains of six are more reliable and cheaper than one train of 12. Um, I don't think that's actually the case. I mean, it's cheaper to buy. I don't see why it's cheaper to buy two trains. And also you're paying for more on the, on the um, what do you call it? On the costs. A single train to end will basically be able to transport the current production. Yes, that's what I was thinking. But I can see that production skyrocketing. The prob And also, the problem, Brandon, is, is one train of 10 with one engine. I don't think the engine's really got the power to do it. So if we look at the, at the available trains and just look at the, um, the engines, like, the horsepower of the engine... It's just not going to be able to pull it quickly enough. The the reliability's got much better now. We need we need diesel trains to come out with some serious power. Uh, I'm going ten. I'm going ten. I've I've made my decision. I'm not sure it's a good decision. But let's see what we can do. So we need to put another four tracks of six on the front of there. Uh, I'm not even sure that these are the right kind of platforms, but never mind. You're double tracking, so even a production skyrocket, you can always make more trains. That's true. Uh, and there's a bit of a problem here. We're going to hit this depot. So I do need to move that depot. But luckily only back by a tiny bit, I think. So we're actually going to have two sets of railway lines. And they will follow each other to a point somewhere around here. And then they'll just be going along in tandem. I'm not going to merge them together. We will have separate railway lines. Uh, let's let's just bring up the options and make stations invisible for a moment. So let's see here. Um, yeah, we're gonna do it like that. So that's gonna be one set of lines. And that's the one that needs to divert to the, the other company thing. Um, double depots. Double depots. Yeah, we need some double depots, don't we? Okay, let's do a double depot here. Remove the forbidden track. And then we'll do a double depot here. And then, I don't know exactly, probably like this. That seems okay to me. Turn stations back on. So we're going to need to do something similar over here. And this is going to be quite a lot of building and stuff. We, now, oh, what did we do over on this side? See, on this side, we just merged it all together, but we had six platforms, and when we had 
two lots of double depots, which is what we're doing, and that went bent round. So yeah, we're doing something similar, just in a bit of a different orientation. Uh, where is it? I've lost it. There it is. Um, so uh, Elaine says, uh, uh, "Oh yeah, to, to uh, but I want you to prevent from making you from making the same mistake I did." Um, and you got, "Oh no, I need like forty wagons to transport coke," and then the same for the tar because. It's not the same ratios. Yeah, it's not always the same ratios, but you do you don't do ratios by train length. You do tra ratios by number of trains. And Brandon says, uh, so today in Eve, I gathered all, all my Enthia possessions effects and sold them uh, for a ton of cash. Cool. It's always good to sell a load of things. I need to get back on Eve because um, we're supposed to be doing Eve events for recordings for videos, and I haven't got around to it yet, but we're going to do some and uh work says um i'm a big fan of four depots going into a station to avoid the old bypass issue you know what i'm gonna do it just for you i'm gonna do it just for you so uh whilst we've got a load of people here in chat hello everybody even you lurkers there that are watching without chatting that's perfectly okay by the way i, I don't mind lurkers at all some people Seem to think that lurkers are bad. The new lurkers aren't bad. You're chilling out. You're enjoying. It's fine. Um, but yes, some people are there. And I'm just wondering, out of everybody who's watching right now, who thinks they're going to be coming along uh, to watch on Saturday for the big charity live stream? And who thinks they're going to come along and play in the big um, charity live stream? That's the interesting thing there, isn't it? Who's going to come and watch and who's going to come and play? So I'm going to leave a train length in front of these um, depots here before we merge. So let's just put the merge in there. And then these ones I feel don't really matter. So let's just put that track in and then... I am going to give it a bit of length though. I'm going to let it have like at least room for one train. Like that. And then we'll merge it in. Um, and we're going to do signals like every two just for flow reasons. When you're not paying maintenance and you can afford it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Put loads of signals in. Uh, can't see. There we go. And then um, probably one signal before going into the depot and one signal on the split here. Deliberately not putting signals in here so that they filter down into the two platforms, one after the other, one after the other, and spreading out. That should work quite nicely. Um then somehow we've got to get this one to wrap in and around that one so this is going to be interesting let's let's clear some space now i think what we'll do to begin with is we'll look at where we can put the double depots going in and if we do something a little bit different on this one put the split a little bit further down then we can put depots in here. Remove the forbidden piece. And we'll make them force depots, depots as well. Um, Nudge and, oh my goodness, there's quite a few uh, messages come through. Nudge says, a stations on a hill like you are doing now are actually more effective according to Timberwolf on the uh, YouTube video you watched recently. Um, something to do with kinetic energy and less br effort breaking. Yeah, so effectively when you... Um, Less effort braking doesn't necessarily matter so much in open TTD, but the bit where it goes down the slope on the exit, that helps with the acceleration, so that's cool. Uh, Brandon says, I will be providing the map, and you'll probably be taking part. Yes, it's going to be a good map. Um, and Elaine says, I want to come along and play, but I don't know whether I can be there on time. Uh, it's an open game, Elaine, so as long as there's slots available, you can jump in. It's not like a viewer's game. In a viewer's game, people have to be there at the start. That's not how it's going to be. Uh, we will be fine. 
Um, let's see. And Egg says he'll be joining. Jan says watching. Above the line says I'll come along and see if my computer can handle it. Well, hopefully. It is a 4K 4K map, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Right, let's get a little bit more just out of here. No, not that much. And I think we do something similar. We should be able to sneak the depots in there and here. Again, we're going to do force depots. Now, I've done this, um, the connecting up, in two different methods here. And I really, really prefer the second one. So I'm going to take this out and do that. Although here, ah, yes, you can't do it there because it's so close. Ooh, don't know what to do. Not sure. I mean, maybe we could do a little bit of both. Nah. There we go. We'll leave it like this. We'll leave it like this. There we go. Um, you might watch in the background while working on an assignment. Well, I hope you get your assignment sorted okay. That's the important thing, isn't it? I mean, I know it's a charity event, so and charity events are some of well it's gonna be one of my most important events right but still assignments are very important okay so that's that one we'll get the signals in before i forget um so there's a good length going in there the station we should get good flow on that the exit should be easy enough to do um Red slime, uh, slime says, without pause on, pause on join, you can't even connect to local host server on default settings. And with pause, it's always paused. Not everybody uses points, pause to join, Brandon. People don't, people don't use that. Um, I'm not sure how we're going to do the exit, but we'll see. Probably in, in a similar sort of style here, where we get the third track come along and then just do it like that. But we do need to make sure we have our exits. There we go. Pop those signals on. There we go. Now I can do it. I just remembered that I broke this. And I haven't fixed it yet. I will fix it. I'm going to fix it now. There we go. Now these are going to have to cross over somehow. Somewhere. Someplace. Um, but let's get this bit connected up here. We'll have an optional depot there. And then, I guess, track here. There we go. Take out the forbidden piece of track. There we are. Right then. Um... Yeah, you've got to be careful about it constantly pausing for slow users coming in and out. Um, I think... Yeah. We'll have to see. And I am I am hosting the server myself. So we'll see. It's better to not have the pause to join. But what we can do is we can extend the, uh, the, the wait time, I believe. So we'll see. Why is that track forbidden? That track is forbidden because I do not allow it. Um, the short version of the story is, is it causes problems. Um, I've got an idea of how I'm going to do this, actually. I'm going to have that come out to there. 
I'm going to let this one go down and then it will come under. Uh, so basically, um, it's forbidden because if a train gets lost at the depot it and that piece of track is there, it will just keep going backwards and forwards between the double depots. If that piece of track isn't there and you're using one-way signals, it forces it continue down the line. Now, it doesn't stop it being lost, but it forces it to carry on going down the line. And usually when it's going on down the line, that is when it then um, is okay. Because it finds its way. Um, right, so what we're going to do now is... I'm not sure 100%, but let's, let's even this off. I want to get this track under here, and I think in this case we're going to use a bridge. I tend not to use bridges very much, but in this case we are going to use a bridge. So, there we go. Nice fast bridge. And I think it's actually got to come under this one as well. Now it's got to link up with this one and I think for this track because it's an important line we are going to do some serious cutting of the hillside there. This is a very important line. So this line here has to connect up with that line there. So let's do a single line track to here and then just push it through that point. We're just figuring it out as we're going along here. It'll be fine. Then we'll use this diagonal to probably come out and go uh, over here. The problem is that this has got to come up at some point after going down. And I don't think there's a good idea. I think we should... This bit needs to be a longer length. Oh, I don't like this. Tell you what. I tell you what. Let's get rid of that. We'll get rid of that. And we will let this continue out for a bit further. To get a bit of a train length in there. Still going to have just a little bit, isn't it? Um, what did Jack and Max say? I need to go back up this. Um, when I edited one of the highlight streams, I counted 30 minutes of the stream time just waiting. Wow. Hello, Edward. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Catching up here. We're catching up here. So I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this. I want this to be a tunnel as well. It's not happening, is it? That's staying at the height it needs to. That's coming down and under, and then it's going to link back up here. Oh, hang on. I'm overcomplicating this. Of course. Let's just... bring this back to here there we go oops that's no good there we are see jobs are good and now this bit looks a bit weird so we'll fix that there we are and I think this is gonna have to come out There we go. Now, the next bit uh, is that they are going to have to come... This is going to be a pretty big land change, to be honest, but I'm not, not too worried about that. O Overcomplicating. Open up your ears. Wash the fluff out. 
There we go. So let's see now. This track has to connect up with that one. Which again might end up being a bridge. Why are these bridges? Could I get all rid of all these bridges if I just make that um, piece of rail go up one instead of down? I mean, it goes down one there, comes there, and then it has to go up one there. <laughs> Must be the accent. Yeah, may maybe it is the accent. Uh, I, I can't help it. We're gonna we're gonna have to bridge it. We're gonna have to tunnel it. Sorry. That this is this, I can't do. It. I can't bring myself to do it. So what we're gonna do? Because it just works so much better. Is from here, along there. Maybe even that bit as well. We're gonna make the land go up. And this land can come up here as well. So we're going to go up one bit there and we're going to just come straight across there. And I think I can actually just get that one to go back a little bit. Yeah, tunnel there. That's better, I think. I'm not sure about this raise in the land height just before this corner here, but it, it looks like it'll be okay. And then we can do something similar over here. So get rid of this. This is a that was a terrible idea. I don't know what I was thinking. So then, at least we can then just fall down in height over here. Rather than going up in height. There we go. A bridge would have been less complex overall. I, don't, I think it's about the same, is it not? One more bit out here. Because then it just drops down. That's much better to me. That's much better. Trains are only slowed if there are two turns in close proximity within the turn when the turns are the same direction. So that's not far off, Frederick. Yeah. So a train might slow down, not will, might slow down when there are two turns on in the same direction within its train length. So not close proximity, but within its train length. But then trains will also um, slow down if there is. Um, a land height change as well. So let's just uh, fix this. Uh, there we go. Just put it like that. And then this one come across and connect up to there. And then I'm pretty sure this one will fit. There we go. See, we did it. This bit looks a little bit close, though. I am going to move it. I want I want a little bit of separation between the two lines. They're two separate in separate lines. We're doing two at the same time here, folks. Well, that's what we're doing. So if we give it, is that too much space? We we'll go for that. It's only a couple. Uh, a couple of um, squares over, but I think it just helps with the separation there and it just looks a little bit neater. There we go. Now one thing that will also help this make a little bit little bit neater is if we just fill in that bit of land there as much as possible. It will look a lot better when we haven't got great big brown areas all over the place. But there we go. Okay, looking good. 
Uh, a right turn followed. Uh, Frederick says a, a right turn followed by a left turn will not slow the train down. That's correct. So if you do a wiggle or a chicane or whatever you want to call it, then that's correct. Trains do not like right angles, uh, even with the option off. It's still going to hurt speed. Yeah. So um, right angles. That is two turns within the train length. But if the train is six long and you've got a turn and then a bit of space and another turn and that bit of space is less than six, that's just as good as having the right angle. So, yeah. And might slow. Yes, it's dependent on the max speed of the train, uh, the, sp the speed limit on the turn um, and some other calculations as well. So might slow is important. Um, if you've got a fast train on a good network, it doesn't always affect it. So sometimes you can cut those corners and those sl those trains can slow down and it just doesn't matter. Okay. And we could, the train probably won't slow down much, if, if at all. So then we've got to make sure we've got the right line connected here. So this is the um, coal tar and the coal tar is going to our carbon black plant. So at the minute it's going the same way. But what I want to do is about halfway-ish have a coal black plant, which we could put down here um, or something along those lines. I just realized I haven't actually put the other station in at the tire plant yet. So let's do that now. Let's start with a six-track, six-length mineral. Ah, now which way round is it? Let's get this right. So the mineral is on the far right-hand side. Okay, so we won't do the mineral first. We will do the oil facilities first. So we'll put that in there. Then we'll do a length four one on the end. Then we'll do the mineral one at length six. Just get rid of that little bit of land. Then we'll do one at length four. And there is our lovely massive station. And this I'm going to do a little bit different to the other one. Because of the direction and angle of the station, the flow is a little bit better. So we're going to do... No, 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 no. We're going to do it like this. Um, so when the trains are coming down this track, turn in slightly left here. And then slightly right there will not slow the train down uh, in its train length. So what we're going to do is we'll do uh, double depots before. And we'll make these double depots force depots. So we'll make sure that they get a service before they go in. And then we'll give them a train length. Remember to leave in room, leave in room for a signal. And then we'll merge them. Uh, signal there as well. That is where we need to come into. So I guess just get rid of that. Bring it down here. Ah, uh, there's a height change. Of course, there's a height change. Let's just pull that back. Drop that height. Dropping the height is not the same as dropping the base. There we go. Now the difficult bit is making sure I've got the, the lines the right way around. So we're coming along this line, crossing over there. That's the in line. Okay, let's get the signals placed. So signal placed all the way along there. For going in all the way along there for going in and then out out and you might want to shake it all about as well so now when we come up here we can see i've connected it to the wrong line there we go jobs are good ah oh dear uh which reminds me are maglev kind of bad their acceleration feels way worse than monorail uh by the time it speeds up it's already at the destination if that's the case, Brandon, you're doing your train length, uh, your uh, distances too short. Uh, Nudger says trees, trees, trees. That will sort out the landscaping mess. Yeah, part of it will um, be sorted out when I unpause. 
and part of it will be sorted out uh, at a later date. So on the exits here, we're just going to make sure we get the right ones. We're going to have one bit of track so that we can put our signals on because of course if we don't press the right key combinations we can't even have signals but if we don't put signals on the end then the whole station becomes one block and we will do the lines like this so we just get rid of that uh, that is hang on I mean how many tracks did I do there Huh? Oh, uh, that one, that's part of the oil one. I, I'm putting the oil one in a right. Okay. I did it wrong. Look, there's four here. We don't want that. We want threes. Oh dear. So it wants to be like, oh my goodness. So, so many bit, bits of track that don't want to be here. There we go. Get rid of that one. We all make mistakes, don't we, folks? Okay, so then these ones want to turn around. And I'm going to give that one an extra one so we've got room. I think. Am I going to just dig down? I think I am. We're going to do a, should we do a sharp turn on the end or not? You know what? I'm not going to do a sharp turn. We're going to let the train come out nicely. I'm just going to see how that's actually going to work. I don't normally do it like this, but let's see. Oh, this, this was a, this was a daft idea. I mean, it's working, but it was a daft idea. It's not actually as bad as what I thought it was going to be. Uh, it's nowhere near as bad. Oh, my chat stopped. I'm going to reload it. Let's try this one. So we're leaving a space here because we want to give the option of depots. So depot, 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 depot. And they want to be optional, so remove the forbidden piece of track and leave the rest. And then... Here we go. We'll get these down to about here and then merge them in there. That's actually probably a little bit longer than what I would have done normally. I think maybe we should have merged them in here. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that and we'll fix the landscaping. There we go. Right then, so signals here and signals there. Signals everywhere. And there's the junction, there's the join, and pull that across here. These signals are the one the wrong way around. Of course they are. And there we go. That's that line done, I think. And then we'll do the station over here and then figure out what the middle's gonna look like. So we'll join that one straight down. We'll leave that one to go straight out for room for depots. Depot, 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 depot. This one's got a bit of a kink in it and I don't like it. I'm going to take it out. We've got the space. Let's keep it nice and straight, nice and neat. Join it in like that. And then we can put the depot a little bit closer. Actually, why are the depots so far down the line? 
Uh, and these ones are, I think, forced depots. So we can actually handle two trains going in a depot for each set of platforms and two trains exiting a depot for each set of platforms at the same time. Okay, so eventually the track that we're going to put in is going to come down here. Unfortunately, nearly all this river's in the way. Just have to make that river stop there. I, there's just one Tyler River there. I can't live with myself if I just leave it by itself. There we go. Uh, that's fine. That, that bit of river, I, I'm going to take it out. There we are. We have removed the entire river past that uh, town. And then we want to have at least a train length here before it merges. How long have we got there? That's not long enough. We need a train length here. He says taking another bit of uh, of it out. Uh, remove that signal. There we go. And then this bit is going to connect up there. Oh, I didn't think this bit through. <laughs> so this signal is fine coming down here. That loop is fine going around there. But now we need to get this, this piece of track across and to wherever it's going to need to go. Although I have just had an amazing idea. What if that doesn't go down and this does, but it goes down into a tunnel? And then this bit's connected up and immediately cuts across here so that this can be as short as it needs to be. Tunnel, tunnel, connector, delete that. That continues on that way. This comes out there. Oh, that's, that's good. That is good. I like the way that works. Okay, that didn't drag properly. Try again. There we go. And then it's just this bit has got to connect up with the exits over here. So let's just do those exits. And for this one, we'll turn the stations to no longer being transparent. And we'll go as close to the back of this industry as possible. What is that industry? It's a potash mine. So, we need our little bit of track coming out. And then we're going to connect that one to here. And go probably straight diagonally across, actually. Yep, I'm happy with that. Do the same. We'll do something very similar. This is going to... I'm hoping I'm not over-engineering this. I probably am actually. I'm probably way, way over engineering all of this railway line, making it way too big, way too efficient. Uh, I'm quite sure what's going on with the land height here, but never mind. Um, there we go. I think we can get the depots in here. Let's have a look. One depot there. Let's turn the stations back on. So in the transparency option, stations and depots do pretty much the same thing. We'll make them optional. There we are. Um, what even is potash, says Brandon? Sounds like way overcooked potatoes. Yeah, I suppose it does sound a bit like that, doesn't it? Um, so this is actually one up so i think what we'll do is we'll maintain that by going along here at that height and then we'll go down somewhere over here like there ish and then i've just got to connect this line to that Which we can do. There's a lot of digging through the hillsides here. And then... 
We'll do a similar thing to last time. So we'll come down to there, bring it up. Jobs are good and The only thing I don't like is this bit of land here. So let's just clean that up. And then the potash mine is all just stood up on an extra bit of extra thing. Forbidden track on the depot you just built. Uh, yes, I, I deleted the wrong piece. Thank you very much above the line. So there we go. That looks good. Exits. I mean, these bits are quite long, so I will put signals along here. Um, those bits are all the right length with the right signals. Okay, so that's this end done. And that end done. And the, the crossover here to bring it all nice and neat. It's weird that over here there's only one crossover. But that's because this one is a loop that turns round on itself. And actually this one's a loop as well. Ooh, okay. So you go from outside all the way around and it cuts in. Oh, I see. I've got two separate tunnels there. And over here I've got two tunnels together. So it does cross the same number of lines. Okay, um, are we going to be able to go through this town? I bet we're not. No, they, they, they already dislike me. But um, how much do they dislike me? They think I'm appalling? Well, it's time to get the trees out. It's time to get the trees out. Now I'm, they think I'm good. So what we'll do while they think I'm good is we'll just get rid of a couple of bits of road. And then we'll just do a massive great big piece of embankment. Now, where is this um, carbon black plant going to be? I feel like here is a good place for it. Like, if we just do this. Oh, this is going to be quite difficult, isn't it, to fit it in there? I need more space than that. I need quite a bit of space. This bit round here seems to have more space, but it's a diagonal. Or is it? I suppose it is. And I think it being in the middle is probably preferable. Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to attempt to do it. I could it call it a floodwater levy, then the people will love you. Yeah, Ben, that's probably a good idea, Ian. Um Right, and also, actually... Um, we're going to take a very quick break. We are. Just a couple of minutes. And uh, when I come back, we'll carry on. We'll get this station put in the middle, along with hopefully the carbon black plant in the right position. I will see you in just a couple of minutes' time. Can I slide across? <laughs> oh, great. Now, now I'm actually stuck in the door. <laughs> Grab some dried damp. Pumpkin spices. Yeah. Still good to eat. <laughs> uh. Oh, I'm stuck. That's a good, this is why we shouldn't have got in. I can't even get on the floor. Oh my god. I, oh, hang on a minute. Someone should carry the barrel. Yeah. Oops. You stuck the barrel in the car, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Try, um... Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that if I were you. You're actually losing health as well. Yeah, because I'm cold and wet. I can... They're lagging out for me. Where are they? Dead. Zombies are coming, though, now. Yeah. I 
Okay, over this way, in the back of the old bus station, there's about six of them coming. <gasps> I got both of them with one shot. Nice. Oh, train yard, military person. Hang on, I need I need sensitive mode for this. Oh, missed. Uh, another one come in. Mm -hmm. We didn't get any <laughs> warning of those dogs. There wasn't like any howling or anything. Yeah. Okay, so with just four hours remaining, we uh, we're going to bed. We've only had one raid. Oh. We've only had two raids. I am pretty. I am pretty. Okay, folks. I am back. Welcome, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the clips. <laughs> Daisy is a perfectly fine game with zero bugs. I, yeah, Daisy is a little bit buggy. It's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to put the station in first here and hope that everything will be fine. So, this is going to be... It's got to be 10 length. Oh, this has got to be huge. They're going to hate me for all the land stuff. Fantastic. It's not fantastic. Well, the raid is. Thank you very much for the raid and welcome raiders. Um, the, this this is going to be a pain. I, I feel like we're just going to have to do some real big land deformation. Um, let's put... I'm going to risk it. And I'm going to remove this river. Like this. There we go. And, oops, I didn't mean to do it that far. And we're going to put the carbon black plant in first. And I want it to be roughly here so we can have the platforms next to it there. But they're going to be quite long. Uh, and then we're going to put platforms in this side as well and just chop half the hill down. So let's see if the game will let us do that. So we definitely want a carbon black plant. Here we go. Okay. That seemed to work out all right. So we're going to have... The, this is the entrance where the trains are going to come in to load. Now for the loading station so far, we've been doing six tracks. I feel that's a bit overkill. I don't know. Is six tracks too much? Feel like it could be. And let's get rid of this diagonal because that diagonal is worrying me. It doesn't need to be there, right? Let's let's stick with it and shift the carbon black. Uh, so I think I don't know. Let's have a look. Carbon black is in tons. Let's put down. Which sort of station do we put down? Presumably some sort of... Not high security. Good station A. That sounds like a good idea. Six tracks, six length in this orientation. Starting there. It does touch the carbon black, black pant there. But we need to get rid of that. And we actually need a further four length on the end. We need to try and chop off as little of the countryside as possible liquid it's not liquid also it'd be measured in liters wouldn't it it's tons not liters and then we need to do the same on the other side now the reason why i left a big gap there is i'm hoping to do the exit potentially in that direction no exit's gonna have to go this way Ooh. The, oh, the, oh, the stations are really going to have to dig into the hillside there. Okay, never mind. So this is a drop-off for the, the coal tar. 
So this is a liquid drop-off station. So I think we just want the liquid platforms. Do you measure sand in litres or tonnes? Uh, I, I think it depends on what you're carrying it in. It's like if you're carrying a... a no, I don't want to answer that question, Brandon. <laughs> I do not answer the, want to answer that question. But hello, of course, to all those raiders that came in. Welcome. Welcome indeed. We don't want water pumping. I think oil facilities, again, is going to be the closest we're going to get. So we'll just do that. So let's do our four length... I'm going to put it there. Probably going to immediately regret that. But let's put our six length on the bottom there. These, This is like one live stream for massive railway lines. <laughs> Sand is a solid. Yeah, true. I suppose it is. Not Newton, uh, not non-Newtonian though, is it? So let's just double check. We need to come in. Yeah, we need to turn round to the right. So it will be like this. But for this particular one, we will do a tight turnaround. We will do a tight turnaround. And I don't care. The train will be starting off from slow acceleration anyway. And these two lines need to merge into each other, which we'll probably do right down here, actually. Give it a long carriage in. And then... How did we do this over there? Oh, yeah. So this is the in line, which we will separate here. And not there. Oh, we'll do it like that. Let's get our double depots in. Why not? We'll make them forced on the way in. Optional on the way out. That that piece of track can just go away. This needs to be 11 long. So that we can get our train in and a signal there. And then we'll connect that up. Ow, I don't want the signals there. So if we do signal remove. There we go. So that's the all the tracks going in on that side. Then we'll do something similar to what we've done here. We'll have it quite tight. On the exit. These are how I like to do it. But it's how I often do it. Especially with so many tracks. I think... Having the extra tracks is more advantageous than having the tight bend. So let's do it like this. And we're just going to dig away whatever we need to dig away. It's like this, this, we're, this, is for, this is for the future. This is for progress. There we go. And then I guess... Just little bits here to get the bit we need. There we go. Um, do you use path signals only and why? Yes, I do. Why? Because there's no point in using any of the others. It's a waste of time and effort switching. The only reason you would want to use uh, any other signal apart from path signals if you're doing complicated things like priority merges... Or you want to do it purely for aesthetic reasons. There is no um, practical reason apart from those really complex junctions. Okay, we're doing a similar thing here where we're going to have at least 10 before we merge them. And I think what we'll do is we'll let this track come here and we'll just take its natural angle as is and just merge them there instead ah 
Come on, you can press three buttons correctly without looking in quick succession. Does not appear to be the case. Whoa, steady mouse. There we go. So I'm happy with that. I'll probably put a signal here just to help with the flow. Maybe one there as well. And one there. That'll do. Okay, so that's that station in and done. Let's tidy up this bit here. Uh, let's tidy up to there. I did say this is going to take up a lot of land, didn't I? And then we've got to do the entrance just going into this hillside. So, yeah. So, let's do that. So, for the entrance, we don't have to leave the space for the signal. But then I want to have the double depots, uh, which will be here. Then I want to have 11 in length from there. So, that's going to go to here. We're spending a lot of money now, folks. That's actually one short. And then we've got the one here as well. I wonder how much money we've spent on this railway line. Probably quite a bit. Oh, look, there's a control tower thing there, which means we can't build the double depots where I wanted them. But it's okay. We'll put them just a little bit further down the line. There we go. Uh, above the line says, I think I found a port that is a bit sicker of one of my open digits. What? Managed? Oh, a port. I thought you meant the game was ported to something or some place. You know what? I think we might be better off with doing diagonals here. So, from this point, down that way. Then we can do, like, put the mountain back a little bit. And hopefully we can dig through here without... Oh, we did. We hit the antenna thing. Look. Sat there proudly on the hillside getting in my way. Um, How are we going to do this? How are we going to do this neatly? I can't think of a way of doing it neatly without not putting the double depots in. Get, yeah, I got control towered. Uh, this is the last bit of this line that needs putting as well. Destroy it. You can't destroy it without cheats. Um, we're going to just have to have an inefficiency, I think, here. So that's as close as we can go. We're just going to have to have a bit of track that goes like this. Uh, it's unfortunate, but... Hopefully, when we get some decent trains on the line, it shouldn't slow things down too much. The other option was to go straight, and look, we've got th four of them on the top of this hill. Um, but, here we go. Oh, I just remembered, but these aren't both supposed to be all this length. So, that is five-ish, that is five three-ish. If we make it come to about there. I'm almost thinking that we just cut this corner here now. Because that will be better. Yeah, that is better. The only thing is we'd have to make sure we come down here just a little bit more. There we go. There we are. <laughs> Environmental strike. Yes. I, I'm not a nature killer. We're just moving nature. It's fine. Hellish Inc. is the legitimate front to our evil organisation. Oh, we don't need that piece of track. What am I doing? 
keep putting that bit of track in and we don't want it. Like, we can do that. It's this bit of track over here that's going to merge. So, let's get this to come down about that far. And then we'll get the one next to it to come down about the same. Get the right tool. There we go. Get it to merge in. We, we've we've planted so many trees so many trees I think this is higher up is it higher up steady why does that go down there it shouldn't go down there it should stay up there we go do 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 Right, there we go. Okay, just need to sort the signals. Yeah, we we'll, we plant lots of trees. For every tree that we destroy, we plant a good few other trees. Okay. And uh, we're actually going to replant some of the trees on these surfaces as well. We'll, go. we'll cover the hillsides in them. There we go. And round the stations. Round the stations we'll put loads of trees into. And if you're interested in my Trees, Trees, Trees t-shirt as a way to help support the channel, then you can go to uh, hellishstore.net. And over on, you, if you want the link to that, then it's on in chat. And you can check it out and see what merch I've got available. To be honest, the merch is mostly for me because I liked I like the designs and I like to wear them, but there we go. Um, Brandon says, I wonder if anyone did a donation goal in TTD, like plant a, a 100 in-game trees for every dollar donated or something like that. Yeah, that's an interesting thing. I don't think anybody would have ever done that. But speaking of donations, um, remember, save your money for the weekend because we're raising money for the World Cancer Research Fund. It is a really worthwhile charity and we're going to have lots of fun trying to raise that money. So join me saturday from midday utc for that event it's going to be a public event so you can come along and play if there's slots left on the server hop in hop out as you need to join companies join with friends join with people you don't know and have a fantastic time right then we are ready as far as i'm aware i have built all of these stations all the track between them and we are ready to start adding some trains new vehicle now before i carry on i want the chat to tell me whether you think i should use one engine or two engines this is a length 10 train in total and they will be pulling these cargo wagons and whilst you tell me that i'll do a very quick buy right back we'll see what the chat says and then we'll put those engines on our brand new network i am pretty oh no Oh, no. What have I done, folks? He's going to be the first to say it. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe I've done it. Yeah, backwards. It's all backwards. Luckily, though, it, it won't be too bad to redo. Yeah, this is the end here. It's the end of the sport. Oh, no. Oh, I had a genuine, oh, my gracious moment then. Oh, no. I, fe I fell through a hole in the floor and oh, there's, no. a, there's another tunnel down here. Someone clipped that. Oh. Oh. Oh, my heart's going. Oh, my heart's going. <laughs> my heart was going. It really was. I... Playing Minecraft can be, you put so much effort into doing something that when something goes wrong, it's like, ah, very much so. And I had, I've had i had a few jump scares in um, DayZ, but jump scares in DayZ are completely different to the, oh no, moments in uh, 
in uh, Minecraft. And if you're interested in Minecraft, I'm starting a brand new live series on Thursday night. Uh, two engines, two engines. Brandon says, uh, oh, two engines. Uh, everybody is saying two engines. It's just about this point when well, the first level industries will shut down. No, they will not shut down. They will not shut down. Um, and does this line count for a new name? Yes, we're gonna we're gonna generate a new name. We're gonna have somebody in charge of this network. So we're gonna have a second vehicle. There we go. And we are going to be picking up the coal tar. We'll find out if I've actually done this right now. So we're going to buy and refit this vehicle. And we get the buy and refit option when we change the um, the cargo type in the new vehicle options window. Then we're going to give it its orders. So its orders are going to be to full load here, go all the way down this line and unload there. Which it accepts cargo... Uh, uh, Accepts carbon black. No, requires coal tar, creates carbon black. Oh my goodness. Uh, we'll start with two of those vehicles. Let's make it four. Five's a more better number, isn't it? There we go. Uh, and then in this depot, we will get uh, some new engines. Buy the engines. There we go. Put the engines together. And for this one, we are transporting the sulfur. So if we go um, have a look down the list at sulfur. Where's sulfur gone? Somebody's ran off with it. No, wait, there it is. Oh, this is interesting. Apparently, we can choose the coal truck or the oil tanker. So, yeah. Um, Brandon says, in Minecraft, you can basically control everything that happens. So when something goes not your way, uh, it's spooky. Yeah, you get a lot of control in Minecraft. And if you get jump scares like that, because what was I doing? I can't remember what it was, but in a series quite early on, I think it might have been towards the beginning of last days. I'm not sure. Um, but I found a nether fort. No. I don't, I don't remember what it what exactly it was, but I fell through the floor in the nether. I was digging a tunnel, and there was a one-block hole, and I fell through the floor and landed in lava. Um, but Brandon says, oh, live, eh? I thought you was going to be offline vids as well. Good to know. We'll see, Brandon. I, I don't know. It might just be live, and what I might do then is do time-lapse videos that I upload between the live episodes. That's kind of what I'm thinking at the minute, but we'll see. Um... Put some of both, make the train look interesting. Um, I like that idea, Reg. I, I very much do. So let's, should we do them randomly? I mean, it looks like there's not really much difference, except the oil tanker costs more. It, ah, no, hang on a minute. The oil tanker costs more and is, ex in, and is significantly heavier, which will af affect the pull of the trains I think both would look cool but the trains are gonna oil weighs less what no it doesn't the coal truck weighs less oh are you talking about oil itself oil well well lays weighs weighs less than sulfur well the coal truck's the lightest one out of the two so we're gonna go with that on this occasion, that has absolutely got it in the bag. So we're going to tell it to go here, full load. I hold control for it to do that. Now, this train isn't stopping off at the partway station. It's coming all the way down here to drop off. And I just noticed I did a pickup station instead of drop-off station, but that's okay. And then it'll just go around and start again. And again, we're going to clone that so there's five of them. Set them on the way. Let's fix this station. It's this. It's all put in correctly. It's just I want it to look like a drop-off station rather than a load-in station. So if we get the right orientation, and we take it from there to there, there we go. That is a drop-off station rather than loading. Oh, you thought the oil tanker was 14 tons, Brandon? Brandon. 
Now, the only other train we now need is the pickup from Ridingham Woods. So let's go new vehicles, get our engines. The problem with doing double engines like this is it feels like it's going to be a big pain when we upgrade. Because at some point, yes, we upgrade and it will, it will change both the engines. But at some point, the engines are going to get so powerful that we don't want to. We'll just want one. And I think we'll have to manually sort it out. It costs 14 trillion. I hope it doesn't cost 14 trillion. We didn't have that in the bank when we started. Um, so we will be transporting carbon black. Let's do search for carbon black. I went past it. There it is. And again, we've got a choice. We either put it in a coal truck or a goods van. And in this case, the coal truck is a little... Oh, hang on a minute. What's the weight in tons in brackets? Is that the full weight? Because the coal truck is 1848 and the goods van is 21, so heavier, heavier empty by the looks of it, but then lighter when it's full. The goods van. <laughs> Can carbon come in other colours? I thought it was compressed coal. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> compressed coal is is coal is carbon as a uh, coal is primarily carbon if i remember correctly but other things can be made of carbon it's like not just coal full weight yeah we're going to go with the goods van so that the full weight is lighter on this one so let's buy and refit that there we go clone it and I'm, I am doing shared orders, so the fact that I haven't given them their orders yet is not a problem. So we'll do go to, full load, come down here, and unload. Now, the, because these are goods vans, I am going to change this side as well. So we're going to change it from the liquid one, not to high security, but to good station B. Seems like a goods idea, doesn't it? Oh, I missed a bit. There we go. Good station B. It's a very light. Actually, for me, that that should be a drop off. Now, okay, we're going to swap them over. That should be a pay, uh, somewhere where the goods are being picked up. So we're going to go good station A. What? Why is it not letting me? Good station A. There we go, with the buildings. And then this one down here, I don't want the buildings. I want good station B, because we want to be able to see more of the stuff that gets picked up. There we go. Um, make sure you refit the goods vans. I shouldn't need to refit them, Brandon, because we use the option look if you go new vehicles and you select carbon black it's buy and refit so these already are carbon black without refitting so there we go depends on the average on which one's faster over the long term yes you're right so there we go um A good idea with the stations. Thank you very much. So I think we're ready to just unpause now and see how it goes. So let's do that. Steam trains are all coming out. So we I think I ordered five of each. So they're going to stock up quite a lot to begin with. And they should load quite nicely. And what we're looking for is the amount that our Coke oven is producing to be increasing quite nicely. A dev created that function because Hellish forgot all the time. <laughs> oh, that's probably true. I, I wonder if a dev ever watched my videos and was like, he always forgets to refit. He needs a feature to be able to do that 
automatically. Uh, yeah, it's a brilliant feature, and it was introduced in version eleven, I think. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I think it was version eleven. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to guess how much money these are going to make. So which one should we guess? Should we guess for the coal tar or should we guess for the sulfur? I suppose we could do either. I didn't code it in Brandon. I'm not a I'm not a developer. Um, I'll tell you one thing though. Um, my rail route videos, I know the developer of uh, that game watches my uh, videos for rail route. And they kind of get like ideas and the feel of how the game is played by somebody who's played about a lot of those sorts of games in the past before and yeah it's really good and i get a lot of good feedback from them as well about the videos and stuff and i send them my saved games so that they can use them when they're doing screenshots and things like that sulfur is going to make more money you think well Sulfur has got to go all the way, so it's kind of like the combined amount. And we've already got three trains just sat here waiting. There is our carbon black plant. I'm not sure about the drop-off station, but it's it looks all right. Um, we'll see about the production going up. Um... Good evening, how's it going, y'all? It's going good. It's going very good. Uh, Brandon's jumping the gun a little bit, saying how much it's going to make. Yeah, so what we'll do is we will do the coal tar first. So the coal tar is leaving Krillo's Coke, and it's coming down the line, and it's coming up to whatever this is here. Okay. So we're going to rename this actually now. Uh, this carbon black plant basically this is the the black line it's got it's got um coal tar and so well, sulfur isn't black is it it's got like a yellowish tinge uh, but then we are making uh tires and rubber and stuff so what we're going to call this part of the network well we're going to name it after a viewer plus subscriber viewer plus is a system just like patreon except there's no middleman it's on my website you can support me from less than three pound fifty so it is not very expensive and all of those viewer plus subscribers coming together keep this channel running with all the expenses that i have things like domain names web hosting even keeping the emails alive and stuff like that being able to restream on multiple platforms and so many other things all cost money and everything that you do as part of viewer plus helps so thank you to everybody who supports the channel on viewer plus and the viewer plus member we're going to rename this section of the network after is J Bay man Congratulations, J Bayman. We'll think of a clever name, but for now, we will just put your name here. Did I type that right? There we go. J Bayman, we're going to rename that. Okay, let's see what the situation is. We have our first trains on the way. So put your um, ideas in chat now about how much you think this train is going to make this this is the coal tar train going to the carbon black let me know in the chat how much money you think this train is going to make saber says um 120k elaine saying 180k brandon said 50 which i think is a relatively reserved amount um i will pause the game slightly to give people the opportunity to let me know what they think in terms of how much this get, train's going to make. We'll get a few guesses in. Um, remember, this is just for fun. Oh, I do need to do a game giveaway, so we'll do that soon. Uh, Disc Inflator says uh, 155k. Computer Troll Master says 75. DJX says 80. Train's just done its service. James Reed says... <laughs> 93,657. I don't know, is that 1,000 or is that precise units? Andrea says 83. Okay, and the actual amount that this train is going to make is... Here we go, folks. 
in pounds, 88,983. Who said 88? I'm sure somebody said 88. DJ said 80. Uh, Antega said 83. Oh, sorry, not Antegas. Andreas. Andreas, you you win the little... The whittle, uh, the whittle, the little competition there to say how much you think that train is going to make. Now, that was 83. How much do you think we're now going to make for this extra little journey over to the rubber plant? And I will going to give you guys some help before you start this one. Okay, if we have a look at the uh, cargo payment rates, I'm going to put the at uh, the sulfur which is down here, sulfur, 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 and the coal tar on the same graph. Coal, oh, coal, carbon, is it, oh, hang on, was it carbon black? No, it is coal tar. There it is. Ooh, that's an interesting graph. So if it is good transit, we get an extra £10 more for delivering 10 units of cargo over 20 squares. But if it's more than about 120 days in transit for those 20 squares, um, it actually drops off for the sulphur. So, DJ says 80k again. I think this one's going to be closer to, to 100. So there's the cargo payment rates. Remember, what was it, 88k for the other train? I think you want to be... One, I'm going to say 101. I am. I'm going to say 101. Uh, I think I'm one of the highest. Elaine, <laughs> Elaine's going for 180 again. Again, I think, Elaine, you've gone too high on that. Um, and there's a few people saying less... Less than the previous train. Well, the sulphur is more valuable at a good speed. I think Tim's probably closer with 120k, although I've said a 101 on this particular one, so we'll see. Above the line says 85. Still, some estimates coming in at less than the other train, despite the fact it took longer to get there. But let's wait to find out and see what we get from this one. And the survey says... 131 wow my 101 was no good tim tim you was the closest there i think with your 120k everybody going in way too low on that right then so that is quite cool that was a good bit of fun um we need to rename this line so this is going to be something like j bay's what is it producing? Carbon black. So J-Bay's carbon or something like that. J-Bay's carbon. You thought it was coal for some reason. Why do you think it was coal? I have no idea why you thought that was coal. We do have enough trains here, which is good. The, the production hasn't gone up at all. <laughs> We've got a lot of trains sat around waiting. I have severely over-engineered this, this line. But that's fine. doesn't matter. It's okay. I just realised, actually, we haven't actually got any um, depots along route along the way. Which is probably really a bad thing. Especially for this longer line, so I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it some halfway depots only for the longer line, um, and they're just they're not gonna be double depots. Oh, I thought that might happen. Let's just get rid of that signal. What? Oh, the, look at that! The depot's not high enough. There we go. I'm. That train will probably... Oh, it didn't go in there. Interesting. J Bay's carbon emission system. <laughs> oh, what about the carbon black? Uh, well, it, I think we've got our first train of carbon black about to come 
Now, if we want to look at the cargo payment rates and add carbon black to the list, look at this. This is interesting. So carbon black gets paid about one third more at about 200 pounds. So should we should we test this one out? Yeah, let's do this one as well. Seeing as we're here. Seeing as we're here. Ah, yes. Getting closer to December the 18th. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, this Saturday is going to be fantastic. Um, I've got, I think, I think, I definitely, I'm almost certain I've got over 20 games to give away. We've got um, at least three Steam vouchers to give away. And we've got an open TTD game that could go on for 12 hours it's going to be so much fun the only thing is is that it's a the more you pay the more we play so people are going to have to donate to make that game as long as it is if we raise uh, some money on this live stream it's likely that we'll um, get past the fantastic target of raising ten thousand pounds for charity in total since we started raising money which is brilliant um and then yeah, and then we want to raise, obviously, a good amount of money for charity. So I'm actually just going to pause the game there quickly, give you guys some um, opportunity to guess this one. So this one is much shorter than either of the other two. The cargo payments rate is much higher. Okay, so the cargo payment rate is roughly one and a half times of the other ones. But the distance, this is the distance for the one that made 88k, and this is the distance for the one that's just it's just done. It's about, I would say, just less than half the distance. So if just less than half the distance, I would say about 40k. But it pays one and a half times the amount. I'm going to guess 62,000. I'm going to say 62,000. Let's see what the chat says. Sabre's going with 300. Above the line says uh, 210. Um, Brandon sticking to his feathery guns of two, uh, two hundred thousand. Uh, we got another. Uh, here we go. Look, disc inflator says seventy-seven. Elaine saying seventy-one point five. Wow. Alexi's saying um thirty-eight. That's a little low in my opinion, but you'll see. And Timman says, "What time do I need to join in for a while Saturday?" Um, we're starting from midday UK. To, um. Um, UTC time, which is the same as UK time at the moment. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. See how long the live stream goes on for. It'd be fantastic if we did all 12 hours. And if we did, there's a lot of giveaways. Sabre says, uh, I think I'm going to change mine to 170. Yeah, I think you might want to change yours to 170. Let's find out what this one makes. I'm set. What did I say? 61 or 62 did I? I can't remember now. 49 pretty much 50k that's not a lot james reed said 52 um yeah it's it's a very short distance look it's only going this little bit so despite the higher cargo payment rates it's not going as far which is why it's relatively good to have lots of long lines the trains are actually starting to shift a bit now and i don't know whether that's pr because production's gone up i think pr has production gone down? I could have sworn that was 230 litres of stuff. The transported rate's quite good, though, so that's okay. It was also waiting forever. Um, guess it was waiting a bit. It was. James was so close to it. Yeah, J James was quite close, yeah. A lot of people getting really close on that. Okay, well that's looking good. We've got J Bay's Carbon over here. We've got Krillo's Coke. This actually should just be called Krillo's Coke. So we're going to put a separate, um, separate one here. It's not actually Krillo. It's k k it's got an I before the R. Krillo. But we're going to say we're going to just pronounce it Krillo's Coke until I'm corrected. Um, so we've got Carrillo's Coke over there, and this is a ALM's Blast. A 
There we go. Now, what was it we named down here? We didn't really get that. It was Beanie Nixon's. I think this is this should be Beanie Nixon's network. Just to keep it keep it um, down there. It was 294 liters, says Elaine. Oh no. Needs more supply. Maybe it maybe it does need more supply. We uh, we need to drop off more coal. Um, I wonder if there's any more coal mines or any new coal mines. Let's have a look at the um, Fed Up Express station list. That's always a good thing to check out, isn't it? Uh, if we go into the station list and go to, uh, total waiting cargo, we can see that this airport is absolutely clogged up with people, but that doesn't matter. Uh, this place over here... Yeah, we've got way too much limestone that needs shifting. We need some more trains. Let's clone that train a few times. They seem to be flowing through quite nicely. They're a little bit slow on the network, crawling after each other. Probably need some more signals, actually. I nearly just went through and just deleted all the signals. That would have been very bad. But we could probably just pop a few extra signals in. Kind of wish I did the signals properly on this one from the beginning now. But hopefully that will help the flow a little bit. Just pop them in. Can I just do that? I can't do control. Because if I do control it only goes up to the next signal which is a shame there we go look these ones are all closer together here so that'll help yeah that's okay we're getting we're getting through that now right i yeah we need to we need to have more coal trains i mean this one's starting to build up for some reason i think maybe a train broke down Oh, pause the game, remove the signals, place signals. Actually, that's a good... That's a good point. That's a good point. Let's see about the coal, actually, because these plants here should be going gung-ho. Yeah, that's gung-ho. Current production, normal? Okay, so I don't think this wharf is really producing enough uh, engineering supplies, which is a shame. Um, then we've got no engineering supplies coming to this place. And that's producing a lot of coal. This is all clogged up. Look at this. So many trains just completely waiting there. We need a second line. We need a second line to fix this. I think what we'll do is we'll bring this in like that. And then... Put that signal back one. Just give them the option here to switch. And take that one out. See what that does. It might produce a little bit better flow that gets these moving a bit better. But it does just feel like there's just so many trains on that line. Back to back trains. It's no. Pause, delete, and then rebuild them. It'll probably be fine. Oh. The good old, it will probably... You know what? Let's let's do it. That's two people that suggested that now. So there you go. I've just removed all the signals, signals on that section of track. And now I've removed the signals on that section of track. Putting them back in. Putting them back in. That actually worked a charm. I didn't have remove turned on. You watch, like 23 trains will now crash. I don't think that's possible, but there we go. That is actually much better. Thank you for that idea, both of you. That um, I think that's going to make a difference. Um, Brandon says, I tend to delete them and place them quickly so they don't crash. 
You've been so far been so successful. Yeah, pausing's better. If you got build while pause on, then look, look, all these trains are now here and they should be okay. Also, the reliability of these vehicles is a lot better than it used to be. So that's good. Uh, what we've got here, limestone. All right, we're going to check for new coal mines. This line here hopefully is starting to flow a bit better. Yeah, the trains do appear to be splitting up quite nicely. So hopefully that does work out, especially with the improved um, efficiency of the trains over time. <laughs> you hope all the trains will not crash in multiple places. Just imagine if like all of those trains just immediately crashed into each other. How devastating that would be. Right then, folks. My lips are getting dry. So I'm just going to go sort that out. Before I sort that out, I will just remind you. Because I know I've said it a few times in this live stream, but I'm also aware how some people come in and some people come out. Like earlier on in the live stream, people will be about and then they go to bed and then um, different people in different parts of the world will be coming online after maybe finishing work and things like that. So if you haven't heard yet, and you should have, you should have heard this charity live stream. Massive public open TTD game starting Saturday midday UTC come and join in we've got giveaways it's sure to be good fun and I'm going to be setting people with some challenges and we've got a special map too but I'm going to take a very quick break and we'll be right back in just a minute or so can I slide across <laughs> oh great now now I'm actually stuck in the door <laughs> grab some dried damp pumpkin glasses yeah still good to eat <laughs> uh, oh, I'm stuck. That was a good, was, this is why we shouldn't have got in. I can't even get on the floor. Oh my god. I, oh, hang on a minute. Someone should carry the barrel. Yeah. Oops. You stuck the barrel in the car, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Try, um... Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that if I were you. You're actually losing health as well. Yeah, because I'm cold and wet. I can... Okay, so with just four hours remaining, we, uh, we're going to bed. We've only had one raid. Oh, We've only had two raids. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, folks, uh, just wanted to also say thank you to IC Bear and DJ for being viewer plus subscribers. All 45 viewer plus subscribers mean that this channel keeps going. Thank you very much, folks. Um, right then, Brandon says, uh, naturally, now you wonder what happens if you do that with a 40, uh, 64 length train and some two length stations. Uh, you get loading and unloading penalties for having a train that's longer than a station. So, uh, we have actually achieved, I think, what we came to do today. So we are now in the situation where it's saying sulfur is supplied. Now carbon black will be supplied, it just hasn't had enough deliveries just yet. Uh, but we will be producing tires which is kind of one of four different routes that we have to do now we still haven't finished this because to go to the tire plant in addition to the existing sulfur and carbon black we need rubber and steel wire rods now we can get rubber directly from bulk terminals and bulk terminals can be directly pushed out by potash mines. Now if we can find a bulk terminal in the area, that's a wharf. Uh, there is a bulk terminal just over here. Yep, yeah, a bulk terminal. These ones get enhanced if you deliver uh, production, deliver so many units of cargo 
least once every three months. So it doesn't have to be a mix of cargoes. It says, for enhanced production, deliver 128 units of cargo of at least one uh, at least once every three months and gung ho is uh, 640 so it is the amount of cargo that's delivered not the various different types now food can come directly from a farm to the bulk terminal and potash can come directly from a potash mine to a bulk terminal you can also Give it something else which comes from some other plant where you get salt and soda ash and that's that's got an extra industry in the way so we probably will leave that one out so what we need to do is get food and potash to a bulk terminal and then that bulk terminal will be creating the rubber to go to the tire plant so we're going to have to then figure out where that part of the network is going to go. I've just realized we've got this massive station here bringing in two things for uh, this uh, tire plant. But that's that's just that. Elaine says you get a bonus if you supply all three. I don't, I don't think. According to the text, it doesn't look like that's the case. No, I haven't seen Tommy P's series. So... I think what we'd have to do is we'd have to put another station on this side where the uh, rubber um, where the other items get dropped off so we'll have to have one for rubber and one for the steel wire rod then we'll have to have tire pickup over here or something and tire pickup that's gonna be really difficult to fit in because I've put this rubber set of platforms so close but I think if we go for the platform being as far away south as possible over this water then that will leave us enough room to do the pickup station there and then we can have three massive stations and it'd be fine the only problem i can see with this so far is pronwood probably are going to hate me for doing that but we'll we'll do that next time we will. We'll do that next time. So next time, we will be getting food from farms, as well as potash from a potash mine to bulk terminal. And then a bulk terminal will provide the rubber uh, to the tyre plant. So we're just going to be getting the rubber into the tyre plant. The steel wire rod is going to be a while coming yet. Now, for the tyre plant, it says, for maximum production rate, supply all of the required cargoes. Okay, so the fact that this one tells you you need to supply all of the cargoes, then that tells me that you it doesn't matter for the other ones. Now, for this, like, okay, so for these industries, it's just a, f a function of how much you put in. Like, you put in 100 units, you get 25 out. You put in 200 units... You get 20 out. What about vanilla? Um, vanilla. Um, I, I think vanilla is like a one-to-one -one ratio or something. Like you put in one unit of something and you get one unit out of something else. It's like an in and out function, I think, in vanilla. For production. Or is that maximum pro I can't remember now. There's also the production goes up and down depending on how much is transported as well. So maybe it's a function of the two. So that's what we're going to do. Farm, potash mine to bulk terminal. We can put our bulk terminal in wherever we want um, in order to bring it to the rubber. But it's going to have to be probably somewhere... I mean, we could probably just use an existing bulk terminal. I mean, there's a bulk terminal... It's just there's not a lot of room because of that town having that road and that townhouse. So let's have a look and see what bulk terminals are to the kind of in this sort of area. So let's get that sorted. Um, bulk terminal. There we go. So we're looking for bulk terminals in this part of the map. Because we're going to be coming in from this kind of south sort of side. 
But do you get more if you supply all three? You know what? I'm going to have a look. I'm going to look it up. This is something I've looked into before, but I can't remember how it works. Let's have a look. Um, company, right, okay, so game mechanics, station rating, company rating, cargo delivery to stations, local authority rating, industry production. Here we are, folks. So here's how the game determines how much cargo an industry produces per month. Production of raw materials happens eight or nine times a month. It happens every so many ticks, and there are so many ticks in so many months and days. This means about 9% of the industry is produced nine times, and yeah, okay. The production will always be a multiple of uh, eight or nine. This table governs, uh, is about, oh, okay, so it depends what it is, the initial production ranges and then there is um, so this is for the primary industries isn't it look this is all for the primary industries so then where does it tell you about the industry specific stuff like production changes um, the stuff about economies and things like that delivery payment rates and how that's calculated and vehicle speeds how that's calculated and there's a whole other section on town growth but I'm not seeing anything here about the other industries this is all about primary production. Yeah, I'm not sure actually. I think it's a one in one out for a secondary industry. Not sure. Maybe we can get somebody to confirm that. So either we use I think this one's a bit of a pain because the town's in the way and we'd have to come across this railway line to where we need to be or we use one of these two and then go in now if we look at the land coming across here shouldn't be too bad this bit all looks flat and so does that all around there so the land doesn't concern me let's just check again no so let's look at at each one so this one looks like it's in a relatively good place it's actually not so great because it's sticking out on a hump of land which means if you want to put in a massive station you're going to struggle to get it close I mean you could just have it overlapping by one square but even then look you can either have it here but if you want an in and an out station then you can try and do that it's gonna over it's gonna go on the land the other one over here is on much flatter land which means we can probably put one over there and one over here the downside on this one is there's a vehicle distributor in the way but i think we could probably work with that um brandon says so with a one-to-one -one, it's better to supply all of them for the simple fact that there's now three things supplying which means you either need three times the length or three times the amount of the same length of trains for the output i mean three trains of livestock is not going to be any better than one train of livestock one train of wheat and one train of steel I think so I, I'm pretty sure we're going to use this port just because the lands better I think uh, I mean it's not a it's not a port it's a bulk terminal uh, the other one is over here so we've got one over here and one over there now that I could sort the land out. That doesn't bother me too much. 
So I think the real question is, how far away do we want to build the railway line? So the down here from Krillo's Coke, we're transporting this um, sulfur all the oh steady all this way up to the rubber company up there. It's a relatively long distance, but it pays quite well. If we were to do that from there from this port, I think we should go to the further one. I think we should go to the further one. Above the line said, accidentally turned off the internet router while trying to turn something else on, but the internet is bound up and running again. Um, I have a label maker, and I've labeled the plugs in my room, so I know which one is which. So I can look at the plug and go, oh, that's the heater, that's the fan, that's the server, don't touch that one. Um, so yeah, I've, I've labeled them. Um, it's good to supply everything because coverage... I don't think so. I nah. I, I don't. I don't get on board with that brand. I think we're gonna go for this one. We're gonna go for this one. And uh, there we go, folks. We're pretty much going to leave it there. We have built a fantastic network here, which is way, way c can deal with so much more. Look, the production has gone up now, though. The production has gone up to more than what we started with. So these guys will be producing. And they are they're going up and down this line and, and they're flowing through nicely. This is going to flow beautifully. How about the one at the top right of the screen? Let's have a look at the map of world again. Top right. So what this one over here? Um that one's a bit of a no-no because we've got two industries that are quite close which would make it difficult to build stations um in terms of distance it's a little bit close but it's not too bad um we would have to build the station up here which is not a problem we could build the station up here to bring it through um but james on that one i think it's because those two industries are quite close we would say no because there's just not the room to build here. We've got so much room to build, so much much better. You can't easily see the socket. Well, that you can get little caps that go over the the switches and stuff to, to lock them in. Wouldn't the exact other side of the map be best? I mean, there is a little bit of a limit to like how far something goes as to how much it's worth. Um, there's actually calculators online which would help you out with working out how long for a certain train that it would be or that would um that would run nicely for and how long for me i tend to wing it <laughs> um earlier on it's probably best not to have massive massive ones um but with the train that we've got now the steam train is i think 94 percent reliable reliability is quite good so it can go a good distance down the line without really breaking down so a long route down there is quite nice. The one thing I didn't get round to checking, and we're going to have a quick look now, is uh, the industries to see if there's any new coal mines. So let's have a look. So in this is in this area, have we got any new coal mines where we want to go? <sighs> there are two new coal mines, but they're nowhere near where I'd want them to be. We should probably hook them up. It's these two over here. So the coal mine there and a coal mine here. 240 tonnes production and 160. There is a railway line that goes right past them, but that railway line is actually the one that goes off to ALM's blast. Um, so we'd have to put a new line in to get down to Krillo's Coke and drop off the somehow drop off the coal I don't think we need anything else at Krillo's Coke so we could actually have a coal drop off station over here potentially I and mean, we would we'd have to cross all those streams I think this pickups in the wrong place like back here look back here they cross over 
if we undo the crossover, we can make this the pickup and make that a bigger coal station. I think we should do that next time as well. <laughs> there we go. Brandon says he's seen some calculators, but it's for maglev. Like, there's ones where you actually get to choose your engi engine, so yeah. But anyway, folks, uh, there we go. Like I said, that is uh, that's going to be pretty much it for tonight. Uh, we've got to you've got to got to go to bed. Got to go to bed. Busy day tomorrow. Um, but I will just say thank you very much to the Video Plus subscribers for keeping things going. You uh, you're very important to the channel. You should feel proud. You help make this happen. And of course, hopefully, all of us together will make a fantastic event on Saturday. But before then, I will see you tomorrow lunch for the start of my Transport Fever 2. Um, I will see you Wednesday lunch for gaming with the Vio Plus subscribers. And I will see you Thursday night for my the start of my Minecraft series. And of course, I've got RimWorld on Friday as well. Then of course, our fantastic event. Take care everybody. See you soon. And for now, goodbye.